We just go again. Hmm, Paladin. Paladin is harder. I will fight with honor. I can see keeping all being right. I really like the flexibility of the all in this matchup. Uh, so I really would like to keep just the all. Uh, it's so good. It's not insane against Agro Paladin, but it's. it's I, uh, there are always situations where I would like to have it. So, not a good starting hand. You really don't want to get Mountain Giant at all. Um, Hellfire, not bad, but uh, it's always questionable. They have a lot of sticky minions. Ah, he's taking all the time for the mulligan. Okay, well, double all gets a bit uh, questionable. What are you thinking of? R rope turn one. If you have a one drop, of course you play the one drop. If he goes knife jiggler here, man. I mean, you bot. Yeah, we are not gonna silence this. Uh, I think we just tap. It's not insanely much pressure, uh, knife jiggler. Or a mini bot. If it will be a knife jiggler, I would even consider uh, silencing it. But he had a 1-drop, he was hovering over this card, so the left card here is a 1-drop. It can be in secret too, I can see that being a possibility, but he has another 2-drop, otherwise you don't coin it out. Or you have a 1-drop with a secret, or... He has something here. I wonder. Otherwise you don't coin out the 2-drop, of course. Why did you top deck? He has a lot of options, because all the... Cards go on board, what says that they, they are all playable. It's not that he's hovering over the cards and they are unplayable. So he, is, he has at least uh, three or four cards that are all two or less mana. I think we tap, play Zombie Chow. Um, Giant still, hello, hello, still not hello. enough. Dark Phoenix, just subscribe, Dark Phoenix! Thanks, man. Four months in a row. Amazing support, bro. Thanks for the support, and welcome, welcome back. Have a good time here in the channel. Yeah, three of the cards in hand are two or less mana. That's what I know. And, or, or at least two, maybe not three, I'm not really sure anymore, because I didn't really notice where this uh, knife juggler came from. Yeah, Zombie Chow is late, but I mean, it tra still trades if he doesn't have a buff. If he goes muster here, he can trade well, but that's it. If he has muster, of course he goes muster, but... Yeah, he cannot really go face here if I play Drake, because then he get, really gets uh, wrecked by Molten Giants. Um, Hellfire... It's not bad. It's really not bad. So many possibilities. I think it's Drake. He cannot really go face here. Um, well, he can. If he, if he wants to YOLO it, then he goes face, but... He really is gonna put me exactly at uh, 11 or 10 to uh, like really at the normally if you want to go face you want to put me at least at six or seven and not at uh, not at uh, 11 or 10 so yeah I it's really 
I don't think he has muster. I think he will play muster last turn. So that's good. Um, most of the paladins are not playing with an iron beak all, so he cannot really silence this normally. There, I can see have him having a blessing here. That's pretty good. Uh, trades really well. Strong. Wow, really? Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, well. Sometimes they just don't respect it, I guess. They just say, Bro, you don't have Moltens, I just go for it. Sometimes you just gotta go. Ah, we have to clear here. Yeah, he doesn't have muster. Uh, the turn 3 muster was too insane. There's no way that is a muster. Hmm. Wow, muster. So either uh, Watcher August or Belcher. I think it's an uh, Watcher August for the curve. So we have uh, Belcher with Dark Bomb or Iron Beak all. If he has the none of your business guy, um, what is better? Both are bad. If he has the if he has the Mistress Challenger follow up, it's really really painful. Belcher doesn't do much, right? Maybe Belcher still. Trade's better on board. But... My shield for yeah, I put delay on. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have put delay on actually, but it's fine. If it was a Mistress Challenger, I think he would insta-play it. You don't even think, man. You just go Dr. Six. Dr. Six! Yeah. So, is he gonna trade this? Uh, pretty expensive trade for him. But, I mean, he has to get rid of it anyways. Mortal Call. I mean, it's not bad. Kind of want to play Belcher. Like, I can play Giant, but I don't have a Taunt, so I don't see the reason to play Giant here. Um... Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck. Oh, that's a nice draw. Um, do we play that? No way we die. Um, he has Blessing. Goes Blessing here. Blessing Abusive. B abusive all that been played this turn. Um, so yeah, no Abusive for him. I mean, I can go for uh, the safe play. But I feel like um, there is just really valuable. Uh, let me change a bit. Change. I change the resolution meantime. 
Consecration puts me at 2. What? He freaking had it! Why would you not play that one? Like, serious. I mean, I don't care. I mean, it was terrible for us last turn, but he just... He played it from the left. Why would you not play it? Like, really? What is the reasoning behind that? Of not playing... <sighs> Am I missing something? I mean, it was really good last turn, right? He's playing pretty weird. I mean, he didn't go for the muster or battle. Turn 3. He puts me at exactly 10 lives. Not going for Dr. 6 at turn 6. I don't know, man. I don't know. And... Why? Why trade that 1-1, one, one, man? I don't get it. Like, I don't... I don't really mind it, even. So, yeah, we have to attack first. Getting rid of the Kadan and everything. Then we can silence Drake. Into the breach. Get down. I hope I get a good... Uh, if, I hope it buffs here. Shit. Uh, might double silence now. Oh shit 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 shit. I misplayed. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh. I just gave him an 3-1 uh, now. I called that uh, play the all first and it will be in 3-5. Holy shit. Sick misplay. Sick misplay. Consecration will drag me here. Kinda. Yeah, this is so stupid. Holy shit. It called just be a 3 5. I mean, <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, it's so when they have like four traps, you are playing around everything and then you forget the other one. But there is no way that is right. Like, I was thinking of playing Twilight Drake first to get more health. And then I was like, no, I should not play Twilight because I need another taunt. And then I realized, oh shit, uh, then I don't have to play my biggest threat first. I must move quickly. For duty. So it's not a noble, we, play we faced already double noble, he had the noble turn 2 or 3. So it can be everything except noble sacrifice. So we always trade with the worst minion first here. Uh, we always trade this one first to give him worse redemption. Um, yeah, we still trade it this way, right? He gets another 1-1. One, one. Okay, no redemption. What is it? Um, it's not an event, so it is a competitive spirit, right? Might be another rapid sense, by the way. Just no uh, mistress challenger and we are fine. Who am I? None of your business. Really? But there is no noble here. That's lethal. 
We know that he played already double noble, right? Let me think. Turn two or turn three, he played noble. That was not another paladin. That was this paladin. And... Yeah, we win. Easy game. Easy game! Orange, it's your time. I hope so. I mean, I won two games. Now I shall be rank one again. Orange, can I spectate you, please? Uh, <laughs> good luck, good luck. That's a lie, the good luck. <laughs> Yeah, let's just spectate him again. Let's just spectate him again. There we go. There we go. <laughs> he got all the hunter mirrors, man. It's fucking smart against smart. Uh, keeps animal companion. He needs a one drop. He plays the he plays the hybrid version. Uh, it's not a bad hand from him. He's missing the one drop, but it's a pretty good mirror hand. Uh, Mad side turn two is always good. Explosive Trap is good if you're going behind, so it's still a nice hand for him, I think. Put this apple on your head. Yeah, this is so good for Orange, man. Holy shit. Ah, oh, Orange. You're making it me so hard. Uh, it looks like he it's uh, like a uh, face hunter. I'm not sure what traps orange is all playing. We see already one explosive. I'm not sure if he plays freezings or and uh, not or only explosive traps. I think he plays both. I can actually look it up. Um Oh, that's not a good one on this board for sure not. Um Yeah, I think this has to be freezing. Yeah, freezing. So he plays both traps. Um, I think it was better for the other opponent, for the other one to attack with the abusive first, because you want to have an abusive back on the board or in your hands. Okay, Orange is curving out pretty nice here. He's a bit lower on life total, but I think he's still in a pretty good spot. If the if the other hunter had or needed to play in turn three, Leper Gnome, I mean, cannot be really good for him. And 19 HP. Uh, Animal Companion can do some. Things here, I think. Uh, Shredder with Lepanon was really good too. I'm not sure if you want to trade here with uh, Shredder. <laughs> Fucking smart mirror, man. Why do they both always get huffer? When I watch a hunter against hunter, it's like in the hunter mirror match, it's like really like all the huffers. Like, what is this for a match, man? It's just a bow. Face, face, face. Well, now he's actually... Now it goes really fast. With this hopper, uh, life total goes really fast. Yeah, I don't think the hunter has to win next turn. I mean, 9 HP is still something not easy to deal with. I think Orange wants to go with the animal companion here. He just wants to go face. Is it lethal? Okay. You might just quick shot face here, I think. Okay. Um so
Wow. Such <laughs> a... Oh my god. That's... So aggressive. So aggressive. I mean, what the, uh, the... The hovers from both there, man. But the game, like, either Orange will win next turn, or he will lose this turn. So, um, he plays the same guy again. I didn't really sure, but Orange says it is the same guy. So we know he's playing against a really aggressive face center. And because Orange is playing a more hybrid version, I think the opponent is a bit favorite. Uh, the more face center is the more aggressive one. No one drop for him, so that is pretty good for Orange. Um, yeah, I think Orange really needs like 4 or 5. I think he needs 5 wins. Because we have an insane win rate at the moment, and he had an insane win rate too, but losing one really hurts. Uh, it really hurts. And Orange and me, we are both so much ahead of, no of the number 3 on the ladder. Because before Orange took my number 1, um, he needed to win 5 games at rank 2, so he probably needs that again. Huh? No huffer. This game is bugged, guys. This game is bugged. I'll show them. I'll show them all. <laughs> there is like seriously never a trade in this matchup, right? Is there ever be like it's like always the first one that is gonna trade is losing or something? I don't even know. It's so uh, like this looks like a really good trade for me, trading a one two into a three one. But he just goes face, and now orange goes face, and. It's Okay, Orange makes the trade here, proccing the explosive trap, I think. Has to be an explosive trap, yeah. Like, you have to get rid of it, it's too early for an explosive trap, so I like the play from Orange here. Okay, I think this will... I think you trade the Layok here, yeah. Okay, he wants to hit the knife. Yeah, I think Orange has to play it a bit more control ace because he is a bit the slower hunter. The low tap is really good in this matchup, by the way. Um, it just makes sure that the opponent cannot really go um, face. Or not with spells. Like, you want to end with the spells and now you just can't. Oh wow, there he goes already. That's oh, fine, right? I mean, why is that bad? So how do you play this? Put this apple on your head. Um, you really want that knife hit here for sure. Do you win in two turns as Orange? Yeah, I think Orange, uh, I think he really needs at least four wins in a row. Probably even five. Uh, because the win rate that we have is too insane. Yeah, that really sucks for him. Um, we know he plays... It. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage next turn for orange. That's an explosive trap, for sure. Really good explosive trap here for, our, the, for the other face hunter. Yeah, this, this looks really bad for orange, right? I mean, he's going to 2. I used to just... If this is an explosive trap, he loses next well turn. Played. Yeah, this doesn't help him. Yeah, that is like Orange went into two really bad matchups. Um, like he's more playing the hybrid hunter, and if you go twice into a uh, face hunter, it's the worst matchup for the hybrid hunter. It's actually the, more the counter. 
So yeah, um, I just loses already, right? I mean, the, the weapon is on the board. No taunts. My apologies. Fucking PM enter. It's not cool to lose twice against the face hunter, man. Fucking dragonborn. Ah, uh, orange. Poor orange. Is he still. He's still ranked 2. <laughs> yeah, like we are so ahead. I mean, we, were, we won already 5. Uh, we won already 5 games at rank 1. Uh, before Orange uh, took our spot. Or we won 4 games at 1. <laughs> yeah, it was um, like we won already 4 uh, games at rank 1. <laughs> it's not over yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, we won already four games at one. Then Orange took it over. So um, we and we won one game. We took it back. Then we won two again. So we actually won almost seven games in a row at rank one. This is really insane. Um, like how I don't know if everybody is going. Anyone is going to take it. We are twenty four. Wins, two loses, uh, win streak. It's really insane. Like, I think Orange really has to win ar uh, around seven games now to get my rank one spot. So, yeah, it's going to be hard for him. But I hope he will do it. I mean, I want the challenge. I want the challenge. I take everyone's challenge. Uh, yeah, I will show the deck list. Um, I can do that now. Uh, I saw a lot of questions asking for the deck list. So, um, let's do that now. Um, the deck list that we played today uh, is this handlock version. This is the handlock version we played today. Um, I, the last time uh, that how I took rank one was I played only one belch and, and I played one earthen ring, and that was because of all the aggro paladins that were under that. And earthen ring is really good against paladin because it either takes a hit from like a true silver that doesn't go face, and that makes the game slower and. Belch is really easy for them to trade sometimes when they have like a blessing of kings. So yeah, I really like um, playing that one earth ring. This is the version I played today because I, I expected a bit more control decks maybe. So I was like, yeah, I want to put in a second Belcher again. But it's still a bit anti-aggro. Like I really love the Zombie Chow in this meta. Like you saw Orange also getting into the face hunter. We played Paladins. Like the ladder is still aggressive. So I really will advise if you are playing a handlock, you have enough. You really have enough in the late game. So please play with one Zombie Chow. And it is good against aggro. I mean, we won twice against Paladin. Uh, we won against the Warriors. We won against uh, Priest. So yeah, it's. I, lo I like the deck. I like the deck. Thais, do you think that what you did is enough to end this month at rank 1? Probably not. Uh, I don't think it's enough to uh, stay at rank 1. Why no more Earthen Ring for Seer? Because I expected a bit less Paladin. I feel uh, I feel the Seeker Paladin is pretty good, but it is a bit overhyped. Or it was at least a bit overhyped yet, uh, last week. And I think uh, a lot of people are going back to other decks. And I saw some people are really playing also Druid. So I was a bit more, sc more scared of that. And that is... Why I wanted to cut the Earthen Ring. Maybe sub a Belcher for a Master... Nah. I don't think a Master Jouster will help you. Why no Jaraxxus? It's too slow. Why won't you play Jaraxxus? It's not gonna help you anyway. Uh, cannot see Jaraxxus winning. Uh, yeah, we are gonna play Arena now. We are gonna play... How is your Monday morning? Perfect, Cloud2. How is your Monday morning? Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, we are still rank 1. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we won seven games in a row at rank one or two, guys. This is insane. Oh, yeah, we have to open that one pack. Uh, I have this one from a spectator quest one or two days ago. Uh, whatever. So now you guys cannot spend open pack anymore. But yeah, Arena, um, I made a star pool. Let's just... Um, I give you one or two minutes to choose... And then we go again. I 
I don't care guys, if you guys wanna... We can go for the best deck, but it's probably mage. We can go for the worst deck, but it's probably priest. We can go for the deck that... Like, I just wanna go for the deck that you guys wanna see. I really don't care if I go warrior or uh, priest or mage. So, um... Taz, you're so good, so don't say that. Good morning, congrats on rank 1. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, just vote in the star pool, please, guys. Just vote in the star pool. Uh, will you bring a uh, child to conquest? Depends on what you are thinking you're gonna face. Like for example, it's not good against warrior. It's terrible. And almost everyone is playing warrior at the moment. So yeah. Uh, I will not really advise it uh, in conquest probably. The zombie chow. Okay, one more minute guys and then we are just gonna go. Okay. Taz, did you play rank, uh, Handlock till 1 rank, rank agent? Yes, and I played all the 7 games at either rank 1 or 2, uh, I also played Handlock. Priest, Warrior... I see no more, not much mage for it. I would like to play Priest, because I'm not level 60 Priest. Maybe I should just pick Priest. What are the best three decks right now for you? Um, I don't know. I think Handlock is still pretty nice, but um, for Conquest it might be different. Uh, for sure Warrior. Warrior is really good. Thanks for answering all the questions. No problem. What do you uh, and Life Coach decide? A bull will play Handlock in the ETLC. Are you both really? Uh, you're both really good with the deck. Uh, we are just ex uh, deciding. We are looking at the six classes that we want to play, and if the we are not like we are just giving. It's not that we are saying, yeah, life coach or me is going to play the handlock. If we come to the conclusion, these six, six decks are what we are going to play. And for example, if we have free match in the lineup, um, if we have free match in the lineup, I would like to play it. And if there is maybe, um, I would say uh, Radu and uh, life coach are probably better warrior players or maybe hunter players. So if they are in the lineup, that makes a lot of sense for us to what would choose as for example, handlock. Okay, let's just go priest, guys. Let's just go priest. I need to get level 60 priest. I'm not even level 60 priest. Um, yeah, right. How good is this one in arena? It cannot be bad, right? 4 drop, 3, 5, priest card. Um, don't like this one. Uh, not good with priest. In another deck, it might make sense, but... Um, Is this good in arena? Sounds pretty bad. Um, this one, pretty okay. Three drop, pretty nice. I like the defensive stats. I would like to pick pick up as much defensive stats as I can. A Yeti. Um, are we really gonna play an Ice Rager? Nova, pretty nice in arena. Beltris, nice. Ooh, a legendary! Uh, we don't have much dragons in the deck, right? Nah. We cannot rely on picking up dragons in uh, in this. I actually don't like any of these. They are all terrible in arena. They're really terrible in arena, all of these. Like, is Structure the best one here? I mean, red, black, we cannot pick this one up. It's terrible. This one is terrible too. So I think we just go Trexor. But Trexor is not really good in Arena. Right? We are not going to pick up much dragons. No way. Just go for an okay two drop, I guess. That's fine. Holy Nova, second one. Yeah. I just think Holy Nova is really good. Hmm... Huh. 
How good is this one uh, in arena? I like I don't play much arena, so it's really hard to say for me. Um, what is good in? I don't think grizzly bears to pick up. I think this one is okayish. Um, like the dragon here. We don't have much dragon, so it will always be in two six. I think. Mind games is terrible. Sea giant. Ugh. It's not a bad arena card, Sea Giant, by the way. It's pretty okay. In arena, he's the best giant. For the curve. I think Sea Giant might be better, actually. Uh, we cannot really rely on Drakes. Uh, yeah, I like to pick up a 3-drop. 3-drop, I need uh, more 3-drops here. Um, yes, yeah, Dark Skill Healer. Pretty nice 